The FAA just scrubbed a SpaceX launch. No, that isn't some AI-generated YouTube clickbait title. That actually just happened at the Vandenberg Space Force Base. Here's the rundown. On a very rare, crisp, clear morning at Vandenberg in Southern California, SpaceX was preparing to launch the Tandem Reconnection and Cusp Electrodynamics Reconnaissance Satellites, or TRACERS, a NASA mission designed to study the intricate dynamics of solar wind and its impacts on Earth's magnetosphere. As the countdown clock ticked towards the critical T-45 second mark, the launch director typically would come over the radio to say go for launch, confirming that all systems are ready for flight. However, on this occasion, that was not the case. Instead of calling go for launch, the launch director called the official hold, hold, hold procedure. Hold, hold, hold. This call, which is standard operating procedure across the aerospace industry, instructs operators to pause the countdown immediately. For Falcon 9, this meant the launch window for the day was effectively closed, as the rocket's super-chilled condensed propellants would boil off, not allowing for the countdown to resume later that day. The reason provided by SpaceX for the hold at the time was a little bit vague. Quote, FAA airspace concerns. In the world of launches, airspace coordination is critical. The Federal Aviation Administration oversees the integration of rocket launches into the national airspace system. System, ensuring that no aircraft or other obstacles interfere with a rocket's trajectory or vice versa. A common issue, often referred to as the range being red, occurs when an aircraft inadvertently enters the launch corridor, a designated area of airspace that must remain clear to ensure a safe launch. If this happens at the time of launch, the flight obviously cannot commence. However, if the range is green, then it's all clear to launch. The range can also turn red if a boat or ship enters the launch corridor at sea, but for reasons that are hopefully self-explanatory, the ocean is not within the FAA's jurisdiction. This time, however, that specific language relating to a vehicle violating the range wasn't used by SpaceX, which naturally fueled some curiosity as to what the actual cause of the launch scrub was. If it wasn't a wayward plane, what else could the FAA be involved in that could cause a delay? A short while later, the FAA provided clarity, revealing that the issue was not with a single aircraft, but rather a broader problem involving the Los Angeles Air Route Traffic Control Center, or ARTCC. Unlike a control tower, which manages air traffic in the immediate vicinity, of an airport, an ARTCC, or center, is responsible for coordinating aircraft over thousands of square miles, ensuring safe navigation across high altitude routes. In particular, the LA ARTCC is responsible for the LA Flight Information Region, or FIR. This region encompasses not only Southern California, where Vandenberg is located, but also parts of Nevada, Utah and Arizona. So what does all of this aeronautical jargon have to do with the scrub? Well, because LA Center is responsible for SoCal airspace, they're also responsible for the launch corridor. So when a regional power outage in the Santa Barbara area disrupted operations at the LA ARTCC, they were likely either unable to verify whether the airspace was clear for the launch, or they could not communicate the range status to SpaceX in time before T0. And if a red range is bad, then a gray question mark range is even worse. So Everyone has to play it safe and stand down to not risk the lives of passengers 30,000 feet in the air. By the way, did you notice this channel is brand new? Breaking Space is NSF's outlet dedicated for rapid response breaking space news. So if that's your thing, there's a button below specifically for that. I've been Ryan Caton for NSF. Thanks for watching and goodbye.